Albert is here timing it all out for us so we can make our plans accordingly. Yes, yeah, so downpours and thunder. That's the real threat for tomorrow with daytime heating and high temperatures in the upper 80s to near 90 degrees. A couple of intense downpours and lightning strikes, something that we'll have to deal with tomorrow afternoon in particular and lingering rain chances as we head into Saturday evening. Sunday, it's cooler wind off the lake, so widespread rainfall, but less in the way of thunder and more of the rain of just showers in the forecast as we head towards your Sunday. We'll dry out starting Monday and we're looking at a mainly dry Tuesday. That's the 4th of July. Look at the heat back up to 90 degrees on Tuesday. The Doppler radar right now. A couple of showers passing through Valparaiso and moving through Laporte County. Had a couple of sprinkles here in the city in the last half hour and that one little shower beginning to drift away from Highland Park and the rest of the North Shore. But we'll have some hit and miss light areas of rainfall for the remainder of the evening. It's 82 degrees right now in Michigan City, but 85 in Aurora. It's 84 right now at O'Hare. We'll go from 80s to upper 70s, but not until about 10 o'clock at 78 and only in the low 70s in the overnight, about 73 degrees at 6 a.m. Here's 7 a.m. Some showers on the Doppler radar. It's mainly showery in the morning, and then with daytime heating in the afternoon, we start to see some thunderstorms. Wouldn't be surprised if one or two of these is on the strong side, producing some small hail and some gusty winds, and that lingers as we head into the evening hours as we head towards your Saturday. That's Saturday at 11 p.m. So rain in the morning, showers and storms afternoon and evening, a bit of a break in the overnight, and watch this flare up once again at 8 a.m. on Sunday. Showers, downpours, a little bit of thunder and lightning in the forecast, and that continues into your Sunday afternoon. So the high at 84 degrees for tomorrow, down to 74 degrees on Sunday with a wind coming in out of the north and northeast. If we add up those rain chances, we're looking at rainfall amounts on average a half inch to three quarters of an inch this weekend, but a few spots like in Gary, you may see if not exceed an inch of rainfall, and then those rain chances come down in a big way as we head into your Monday and Tuesday of next week. Let's look at the muggy meter. The humidity the last two days, this is the highest it's been all year long. We haven't experienced anything like this since August of last year. And notice how this weekend we stay in that sticky to very uncomfortable range, get a little bit of a break on Monday. And then as we head towards Wednesday and Thursday of next week, that humidity levels go even higher. So this is the weather pattern. We're tapping into the Gulf moisture. You get a little bit of energy in the atmosphere, you get showers and storms. And that's why this weekend is so unsettled with that rain in the forecast. But mainly dry, sunshine, 90 on the 4th of July. Mm. Storm chances, though, return by the middle part of next week. Thanks, Albert.